Hi everyone, today I'm going to be giving a review and demonstration of this the new seat jet system IZ161W. Now, this is from week 44, 2003, and it is one of their jet system models with the inclined drum and inclined entire front panel actually, which I'll talk about a bit more later on. Now, I'm going to start out by talking about the programs and options. Obviously, I'm not going to go through them all because that's an entire separate video of all programs and options. Um, a series that I've been doing for quite a while now, actually. It's one of my oldest series. So, yeah. I'm going to speak about which cycles I like the most, um, which options I like the most, which I use the most, and my general opinions on them. So, let's start. We'll turn it on so you can see some of the cycle lengths. So we got cotton, which is about two hours long, two hours and four to be exact. So I think that's quite a good time. Um, obviously this is from the days when machines weren't so overly focused on being economical and are more about getting the job done, pretty much. Um, so yeah, it uses it, it. It has nice, decent lengths. It's got it has variety of lengths as well. So. Um, I will tell you the lengths of all of the men's cycles. So, default cotton is 2 hours and 4 minutes. Default synthetic is an hour and 22. Default delicate is 59 minutes. Default wool is 56 minutes. And the default hand wash is 59 minutes. Now, they can all be changed, and they will vary depending on the temperature you select. Um, but the longest cycle this machine has is actually... A cotton 90 with a pre-wash which is 2 hours and 55 minutes that is excluding the soak which I'll talk about more later if you add a soak obviously the the cycle length changes but 2 hours and 55 minutes is the is shorter than most standard cotton cycles today so yeah it says a lot about where machines have gone I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing the longer cycles. Um, I like that a lot of machines nowadays have a load of flexibility in the cycle lengths um, and with their sensing as well. Although sensing is another thing which I can talk about a lot of because it can really annoy me at times, but I won't get into that now. So, yeah, it, but it, on the opposite end of the scale, its shortest cycle is synthetic 30 with quick, which is 43 minutes. Now, that's the shortest cycle on the whole machine. Um, so, 43 minutes is not bad, but again, that's not at full speed either. That's at 900 RPM. The shortest cotton cycle, I think, is, if we look, 55 minutes, yeah. So... It's, really, it's great that you can do a full cotton wash in, un in under an hour, and the only one that's over an hour is the 90 degree, that's just an hour and a half, roughly, an hour 33 minutes to be exact, which is still brilliant, but I'd like there to be a shorter cycle for, like, if you need to wash something, let's say, in, in 20 minutes or something, and it will come in handy for a lot of people as well. I would not use it often at all, but just to have the option there to have the cycle, I think, is the only thing I'd say I'd like. And probably some extra longer cycles, but I won't complain too much about that. Because I'm quite happy with the cycle lengths as they are, actually. Um, I like flexibility, personally. And this machine does have more flexibility than some other machines I've, I've had, that's for certain. Um, I've had machines that have only long cycles, and I've had machines that have only short cycles, both of which are annoying. I like machines that are like this, the kind of in between. So yeah, um, I briefly mentioned options. I'm going to obviously talk about some of the options. I'm going to start with super rinse. Um, super rinse slightly counterintuitive because it reduces the speed of the intermediate spins and actually cuts one of them out, so it only does two intermediate spins instead of the usual three, and they're much slower as well. 
So, but it does deep rinses and it does a fourth one. So four rinses, four deep rinses and two slow intermediate spins, but with altered acceleration. So it has like, it, it, they're at 450 revolutions per minute, but it goes up in two steps rather than in a single step um, for the acceleration for that. So, sounds counterintuitive, it does work, it does provide superior rinse performance for the more bulky items, so it is surprising, like they've, they've managed to make it work somehow. AA40 is economy, basically, uh, it increases the time slightly on 60 and 40, um, the other cycles it doesn't really alter the time that much. I think on some of them it actually drops the time. Um, so yeah, but it basically it, it's supposed to be a more economical cycle, and it is in some ways. Um, although on 40 it doesn't really make a difference. I think it's actually slightly less economical on 40. But on 60 it reduces the temperature down to about 40, just short of 40. And on if you use it on 90 it will reduce the temperature down to about 65 or so. Um, so yeah, if you want a slightly hotter 60 degree wash, then use 90 AA40. So yeah, and again another good option, although that eradicates some of the spin rinses, which I will talk about later on. Quick, I've briefly mentioned, very useful option for a lot of people. Um, I can imagine people, the average user, using Quick a lot. Um, it's, it, it does a good job on this machine, they, they've actually really fought quick, they've fought the programming for the quick option through well, which again I'm going to talk about later on. But just to give you a brief idea, it alters the spin programming, it alters the jet system programming, it alters, it alters a lot of things about the machine. Um, so yeah, overall good, but I'm going to get further into that later on. And the other thing, free wash and outdoor sports, very, very similar options. The only difference is outdoor sports is pre wash with a soak, um, whereas pre wash is just the pre wash and the pre wash spin. Um, on outdoor sports, the soak is default half an hour, but you can use the delay function to change that in one hour steps all the way up to exactly 24 hours of soaking which is on top of the existing cycle time so that will be 24 hours of soaking plus however many however long the cycle is so two hours well it will be two hours and four without any of the options now i'm going to move on to my experience with the machine so as i've said um, did I mention, I may or may not have mentioned that I've had this for about 18 months. So yeah, I've had it for 18 months now, and I've got on really, really well with it actually. One of the best machines I've had, and in fact one of the best machines I've used. Um, it can literally wash anything. I've washed weighted blankets in here, I've washed, obviously I wash clothes in here all the time. Um, I've washed big towels loads, I've washed massive cushions in here. I've washed huge duvets which it did a pretty decent job at considering some are way too big for the machine. Um I've washed curtains, I've washed leather I've washed a leather jacket in here and I've washed a huge denim jacket as well, a really heavy bulky denim jacket and it still managed to wash and rinse and spin that perfectly well. It can literally wash anything. Um if if there's one machine that I had to take that I know I could trust with anything, it would be this ID161W, 100% no question. Um, yeah, it's it's really reliable, I've not had, the, the, only, the only thing I have had, the only issue I've had with it is one time it water locks on the final spin. If you don't know, water locking is when too much water is getting expelled from the clothes and the machine's the drain pump's not able to keep up with the amount of water, so it gets the water ends up basically getting thrown down the drawn, thrown around inside around the outer tub, and it can actually put a lot of stress on the motor depending on how strong the water lock is. Although 
it won't put anywhere near as much stress on the motor as a suds lock would. A suds lock's the same thing, just with soap. And you can have a mix of the two, which we often just call a suds lock in the water community. So yeah, it did that. It did a water lock on the final spin once, and then stopped obviously because this machine stopped if it if it realizes it can't keep up with the amount of water being expelled. Which again, I'll talk about when we get to the programming. But it stopped. But that happened. It stopped. It got to zero. It, like it came to a standstill. It then tried to jump directly to full speed, which threw the belt off because the belt needs replacing. So I'm glad it threw the belt off. It hasn't done that since. That was a one-time glitch. That was well over a year ago. But it's just something I thought that might be worth pointing out. There's a couple of other glitches I will mention when we get into the programming stage. But for a 19-year-old machine, it's not bad. You do expect a couple of glitches uh, on a machine regardless of age, actually. No machine is perfect. All machines will have their uh, little moments. So yeah. Overall reliability, amazing. Um, as I say, one of the best. So I'm going. I've said so many things. I'm going to talk about later. Now I'm going to move on to programming because I want to speak about the things that I keep saying. I'm going to move on to later. So I'm going to start out with the cotton cycle. Now the cotton cycle is, as I say, my favourite on the machine. I think it's really well thought through. Um, it does. It's like it's about roughly an hour's worth of main wash. I think an hour and five minutes or so it spends doing the main wash, and then it it has the jet system off for the heating on most of the combinations. I think on forty and thirty it has it on for the heating. Um, on the higher temperatures, I think it has it off for the heating, unless it's a particularly absorbent load in which you'll have it on for the heating. Um, and it will have it will then have an 850 rpm intermediate spin after the wash. It will then do three rinses with a 1050 rpm intermediate spin between the rinses. And it, after the softener rinse, it will finish with a 1600 rpm final spin, which you can obviously reduce by using the spin speed button. Um, the quick option will. Remove one of the rinses, keep, it will keep the intermediate spins the same speed, um, but it will alter the spin programming by reducing the amount of time spent holding at the lower speeds on the final spin. Um, so it will, it will reach 1600 much faster than on the full length cotton. And the other thing Quick does is the, it, where it removes a rinse, it does a deeper softener rinse. Um, as a result of that, which I don't, I'm not really a massive fan of. I know why Electrolux have done that, but it's, it, it, for me, it just seems counterintuitive um, because it's, you know, Quick is meant for the, the smaller loads, and to do a really deep softener rinse is a bit of a waste of water. But then again, I'm saying that this is back from the days when. People weren't so concerned about that. Um, they weren't all eco crazy, as 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 we like to say. So I guess I could. Uh, it's not a major thing. So uh, yeah, um, my other two main cycles is wool and hand wash. Um, wool. I'll start off with hand wash. Um, hand wash is a very gentle cycle. It keeps the jet on for the entire main wash, um, and it has a deep level and short tumbles with long pauses to take care of gentle clothes while still getting them clean. It will do no intermediate spins but it will have three rinses again all with a deep level and it will finish with a very short 900 rpm spin and it will the wall cycle is pretty much the same as that except the pre-spin anti-tangle tumbles uh, is significantly reduced on the wall cycle because obviously wool shouldn't be thrown around the drum at all and I think that's very good that they've done that because a lot of brands don't think about that when they're doing the wall cycle they just keep the wash action gentle and then they keep the balancing for the spin exactly the same and Hot Point and Intercept 
um, sometimes are a prime example of that because their you know their balancing system is it's quite harsh for wool and um, particularly on older models a lot of their models do turn the balancing off for wool completely so it will just spin anything but there are a lot of models that rebalance a lot on wool regardless um, but that's for another time to speak about because this is the IZ's video um, so yeah now the outdoor sports glitch I'm going to bring up at this point as well I briefly linked to the outdoor sports glitch um, and it affects the pre-wash spin which follows the soaking phase on outdoor sports and it's where if it suds locks um, on that pre-wash spin when outdoor sports is selected and only when outdoor sports is selected on cotton cycle it doesn't affect the other cycles on cotton cycle if it suds locks there it will abort the cycle completely and it will basically come up come up as if you never started the cycle um, which I do have a clip of somewhere I don't know if it's still up on the channel or not um, but it might be in one of my suds lock or water lock um, com compilations so yeah it is quite annoying um, and I just think if they had fought the pre-wash spin if they, had fought, if they had better fought through the pre-wash spin it could have been avoided um, but it's a shame because otherwise the machine doesn't have any suds locking issues really um, except obviously when the pump's blocked because any machine would but this machine is really good at getting rid of suds and water um, even in extremely absorbent items so yeah again if they had just fought through fought, if they had just fought it through a bit better the acceleration on the pre-wash spin it wouldn't be such a problem um, I think that's it I don't think there's anything else I want to speak about in terms of programming so I've briefly mentioned the design at the start obviously it's tilted the entire front of the machine is tilted which is a design that takes some getting used to um, and if you have it under I think I've said, I may have said this exact thing at the start so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but if you have it under a cupboard um, or un under a shelf like in, next to a cupboard like my LG is um, which you can't see then you know it's going to look a bit weird because the base is going to be a lot further forwards than the fascia is so the fascia is going to be basically buried in towards the back of the cupboard meanwhile the base is it could stick out a bit um, depending on the de the space you have so yeah it, it just I think it could look a little weird obviously that's not a bother to me because I don't have it under a shelf it's just in the middle of the floor at the moment but yeah just something to think about um, and I'll also speak about the quality at this time as well it's really well built really really well built it takes a unbalanced spins a lot to um, even to full speed it is not really bothered um, it's sensible with balancing it won't spin what it can't handle most of the time it won't spin what it can't handle no I say I, I say most of the time but it's never spun something that's made it jump it has not once moved jumped um, or anything it's quite sensible but it's not sensitive in the slightest which is what I love about this machine and it's why it's stayed in the collection for 18 months and will stay in the collection forever um, because it's just so good in every way it just gets on with it it doesn't ha it doesn't really faff around with anything which is why I love it and the fact it can wash anything um, so yeah uh, performance I forgot to mention previously I'm going to link back to the programming section because it should be programming and performance so apologies for that I'll get back to uh, yeah so performance really good wash performance is great rinse performance is outstanding I don't think there's ever a time where this machine has given subpar rinse performance so yeah it's great even on the extreme suds test the rinse performance was surprisingly good 
Um, spin performance, again, very good. Uh, not quite as good as the LGs. Um, obviously, LGs, I've discovered the Advanced Developer Mode, which gives it 1600 RPM. It, that, the spin performance from 1600 RPM on the LG beats IZ's spin performance from 1600 RPM, despite them having almost the same hold, which is very interesting. So, yeah, it's not the best spin performance in the world, but it's still very good, and I'm very satisfied with the, with the performance as a whole. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, I think I'm finished with speaking about the design and the quality. Um, obviously, the it's an all-button fascia, so if you don't like dials or if you can't really twist your hand that much, then I suppose that this could be a better layout for you, it could be more convenient. For me, I don't mind really, I like having the button, but I also like having a dial as well. Um, but again, it's not a, a, it doesn't matter m much to me either way. Um, the only other thing I have to mention is the beeper. Now, beeper's off on mine. Um, I'll turn it on just for demonstration. So, temperature and spin speed, if you press and hold those, Yeah, so the beeper I tend to have off on this machine. Um, I know some. I know a lot of people like to have it on. For me, I just think that this beeper's like it's slightly annoying for me anyway. I don't know why it is compared to like LGs, for example, because um, I can have LGs on perfectly fine, and I'm not really that bothered about that. Um, I don't know, it's just something about it. So yeah, I turn that back off. But yeah, different people have different preferences. So that's just my preference. Um, but I'm glad that they have an option to turn it off. Now, I think it's time we demonstrated it. So I'm going to wash a small load of colours on Cotton 40 would click. Those colours were quite dusty. Um, I'm going to, for detergent, I'm going to use some of this massive box of Surf Tropical Lily. Obviously not a huge amount because it's not a massive load. Not that much. And I'm going to put some Lenore Gold Orchid in the drawer. I don't use softener that often in this machine. Um, I don't use soft softener that often at all actually, having said that. But for demonstration purposes I thought I may as well. So, cross on 40, 1600 with quick, off we go.
Right, there we go. So you got to see a mixture of the things I said about the programming. You got to see the machine rebalance a couple of times. You got to see it do a couple of slightly unbalanced bursts. They're not majorly unbalanced. You got to see it do the quick um, final spin where it, where as I said, it doesn't spend as long at the intermediate speeds, but it still spends the same amount of time at the um, at 1600. The other thing I didn't note, it doesn't do the anti goose on quick. Now, one other thing I'm going to point out, which I don't know if it's just me, but I do find slightly irritating sometimes, is you do have to, you know, press the skip button at least once to reset the cycle. So, I'm going to just describe how well the clothes smell and show you the, I'll show you this um, dress. So it is a bit creased, I will say they do come out slightly creased sometimes. It smells lovely. Um, I'm going to take these out because these are going to go in the dryer. So what am I going to give this out as a rating? I'm going to do a rating system out of 100 for this series. I think I'm going to give the IZ a 90 out of 100. It has some, a few annoyances, which I have mentioned earlier on, but overall is a very, very good machine and can wash almost anything. In fact, it hasn't failed to wash a single thing I've given it yet. So yeah, for that reason, I think a 90 is justified. Room to improve, but overall very good. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, apologies, it's so long. Um, I might change how I do it in future, but for the time being, as this is the first episode of the series, I would love to hear your feedback. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, I hope it's helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.